Welcome, I'm Candace Tope Phillips, a trainer and curriculum development specialist at the Administrative Office of the Courts. Today, I'm gonna to walk you through how to use the Zoom process and what to expect when attending remote court. First, if applicable, it is best to download the Zoom application. The Zoom application is free and can be downloaded to the desktop, laptop, Mac, or mobile devices. We do recommend downloading the application to your desktop or laptop. If you need to attend multiple sessions of remote court, the web version must be used. To download the application, go to zoom.us and press sign up, it's free. This will have you enter in an email address and set up a password to activate your account. If needing the to download to your mobile device, please go to your application store and download Zoom. Once that application is downloaded, you need to check on updates to Zoom. Open up the application and we'll click on our profile. The system will put a reminder at the top if there's an update, but if you haven't updated and already have the Zoom application downloaded, please do so at once. This current update allows co-hosts to assign and move participants during remote court. This is a very helpful tool while in a Zoom session. To update, again, open the application, select your profile, and select Check for Updates. If an update is available, please allow time to update your, your Zoom. Again, the current update will allow co-hosts to assign and move participants during the remote court session. This is only available on the desktop version. This feature is not available on mobile devices or the web browser. Next, let's discuss how to join remote court. Open up the application and select join. From here, you're going to type in your meeting ID. And you'll also see the name that will be displayed when entering into Zoom. Before entering the session, you may wish to place an A for attorney, a CA for assistant county attorney, CWA for Commonwealth, or PD, and list your client's name. Once you're complete, press join. The computer may ask you if you would like to join with computer audio and you need to press join with computer audio. Once you have joined computer audio, you may receive the first screen and this will appear while you are in the waiting room. It will notify the facilitator that you are in the waiting room and that facilitator will let you into what is called the main session. Once you're in the main session, let's go over how to mute and unmute yourself and your videos on your chill bar. To mute or unmute yourself, press the microphone located on the left-hand side of your toolbar. To turn on and off your cam camera, simply click on the camera down beside the microphone. The camera feature is only available if using a device that has a camera built in or a web camera. To troubleshoot audio or camera, you simply press the up arrow next to located next to the microphone or camera. Once you arrive in the session, you will be speaking with a facilitator, and this is again what is called the main session. From here, you need to let the facilitator know you are attorney and you need to be made co-host. Host. If you need to rename yourself, again, hover over your gallery box and simply click on the three dots. Select Rename, and again, you can put an A in front for Attorney, ACA for Assistant County Attorney, or CWA for Commonwealth in front of your name. Otherwise, the facilitator will name you. Once there, and you have received co-host privileges, you will be able to join breakout rooms. Again, if you're using the desktop application and updated, Zoom will be able, in Zoom, you will be able to move and assign participants. The remote course session is broken down into several rooms. To see a list, 
press the breakout button on your toolbar. If you do not see the breakout rooms, sometimes it is hidden under More. Click on More and select Breakout Rooms. If you are still not seeing the breakout rooms down below on your toolbar, make sure you notify the facilitator. If you're just looking to see if your client or participant is inside the Zoom session, again, you can open up your breakout rooms. To close this, simply press the X at the top. We never want to press close all rooms. What this does is move everybody back into the main session room. Participants who are in rooms, you will see below with a green knight beside their name. To join a room, select the room and then press join. So again, if we wanted to join the courtroom, we simply find courtroom, press join. The system will notify us that we are joining the courtroom. Join courtroom, press yes. And as you see, it will say, now you are in a breakout room. Now, how to move a participant. Again, this feature can only be used from the desktop application and with the update. This feature is not available through the mobile device or using the web browser. To move a participant, simply hover over the participant. Then select Move To. A list of all the rooms will display and select the room. You will see that the participant's name is in gray when it has not moved, and once they're moved, it will simply show a green dot beside the participant. Now, if you are needing to join with that participant, you must press join beside that room. So for example, if I want Joe Smith to meet with me in a conference room, hover over Joe Smith, move to conference room, Once Joe is available in the conference room, you press join and move to the conference room yourself. A couple of other things that you may need to know when in the breakout room. Breakout rooms are not recorded. If you wish to leave a room, you can simply press leave room, breakout room, and go back to the main session. If you are done and complete, you can simply hit leave meeting. This will close out your Zoom session for all. Again, thank you for your time and attention.